Yeah, it's your boy, Gat Cognac, back with another video. So, I'm just going to talk about finding a game to play after you beat one game and the transition, man. I don't know, if you're one of the realist gamers, you probably struggle with that. Some of the other folks, they're able to just manage to jump on game after game after game like it's nothing. But, I don't know, I can't do that, man. Like, the whole gaming experience, man, it's it's like a mood, you know? I gotta be in a certain mood for me to, like, actually find a game to play, let alone just, you know, hop on. So, like, back in the days, that was different. Like, back in the days, I just play games all day, but now you're very selective, you know? You're very selective about which games you want to play. And it's like, oh, you know, I just finished like this uh, open world game. So do I really want to hop on another open world game and spend another like 60 hours into it? Or do I want to play something that's like fast, you know, something easy to beat and casual so I can set myself up for the next like hurdle, you know, like I, I don't want to jump on like RPG after RPG after RPG. That just that doesn't work out for me, man. Like, you gotta have, like, some downtime to let it simmer, you know? But that's just me. Maybe I think too much into it. But let me know if you guys have the same uh, problem, man, trying to find, especially if you're a collector. Like, as a collector, that makes it even harder because look at it. Look at all the games behind me. Like, that's a hell of games to choose from. And even though I have, like, a list of games that I want to, like, play, you know, in priority... It's just, when I look at them, I'm like, man, do I really want to play that? So, I'm in that rut right now, you know? So, like, I'm always down to play some co-op and shit with the homies, but that's cool. Because that's more like just interacting. But if you're on your, like, own time and you want to play a game, it's like, man, what the hell, you know? What do I play next? So... That's where I'm currently at right now. Got so many games, don't know which one to play. Like, I, I have in mind, like, you know, the Moody is always like, hey, man, you know, you need to jump in that near Automata. You know, that game's a quick beat and it's a good-ass game. So I thought about that. But at the same time, I'm like, man, you know, do I really want to go through, like, a, a hack and slash game right now? You know, a game where I'm just mashing all day? Or do I want just something chill, you know? something story driven stuff like that it just really depends on your mood man so yeah that's one thing and then like another thing like i said you know with just so many games dude you know like i know for sure i'm never gonna get to like not even half of the games i got dude so like priority wise you know, you do want to get on the games that, like, get the best reviews or everyone's talking about it so you get experience, too. And then there's, like, you know, just hidden gem games. There's also, there's also like, the fact that, all right, I got this whole library of games. And I'm like, yeah, I never, you know, I never seen this game or, or something like that. So I want to just pick this up and try it out and see how it is. And, you know, there's that, like, nostalgic feeling of back in the days when you would like go to the game store and you didn't know what the hell you were buying you're just going by the cover right and he's like this game looks cool and it might be a piece of shit it might be great so you made the best of it you know so like the going with that nostalgic feeling that's also cool too like like i still enjoy like discovering a game that no one really knows about and then you know when you do finally play it and you're like oh man you know that was money well spent you do get a good sense of accomplishment you know so i try not to go like by too much by what everyone else says because you can't enjoy a game fully or even a movie or whatever media if you already went in uh with somebody else's expectations you know but generally, I, I don't go in with a lot of media with, like, full good expectations anyways. 
so it's like I don't really you know mess it up for myself but if it turns out to be like a lot better than what I intended it to be then it's a surprise you know it's it's something that you're like oh man you know that was great so and that's the best way for me to actually jump into a game is just jump in it without any expectations because when you do man too many times man they hype up a game I wait till the day comes out I buy it I find the time finally to, to sit down and <laughs> play the damn game and I'm just like this piece of shit you know wasted my damn time wasted my money man so yeah I try not to do that anymore man it's just especially nowadays man there's so much shit games out there it's like damn you know where do you where do you weed off the, the garbage right so yeah those are some of the, the, the problems or, or the what do you call it like the struggles a gamer has to go through at least a real gamer you know I don't know about some of these casual motherfuckers but you know like me I'm not like somebody that just jumps on Call of Duty all day like I can't do that it's too repetitive man I, I gotta play some real stuff some quality stuff I don't mind jumping on like I, I skipped Call of Duty like probably so many years and I'll jump on it if it seems interesting or like a bunch of homies want to play but other than that I, I ain't gonna be playing like the same game every freaking day man Madden Call of Duty, you know, all that shit. Like, I can't play that every fucking year after year. It's the same shit. Like, you, some people do, you know, and some people pay, play competitively. Yeah, that's cool, but come on, dude. Like, are you really gaining anything from this? You know? Yeah, you level up and you turn prestige, but you're not even getting anything real. You know, I could play like an RPG or some other story driven game and at least I get I get a new story you know just playing some of these like Madden and Call of Duty and all these other games that they milk every year just it's the same fucking premise you know oh it's a new season oh like like what does Madden even do nowadays like besides update the roster they technically ever since like 2012 they could have just used the same game and then just updated the rosters every fucking year. And it'll be fine. They won't even need to upgrade anything. The graphics still look shit. Like you can't tell me a Madden game looks any better from back then till now. It really doesn't. You know? Um, and then same thing for the Call of Duty games. Y'all already know. It's using the same engine. So. Same premise. Good guys go after the bad guys and then now they might have a plot twist or some shit in there just to make it seem like you know different but it's still the same it's been played out so many times but yeah so you know let me know man let me know if you guys have any like other um some recommendations for games man something unique you know something i never like heard of something cool something you guys um you know, found in the wild, that's cool. That deserves a, a you know, some time to play. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. You know, if you guys struggle with the same thing, leave it in the comments, man. Shoot, because I'm still trying to figure out what to play next. Yeah, I've seen some suggestions, um, but it's like, man, I'm at the point where like, damn, you know, like, you got so many consoles too, so it's hard to like jump between all these consoles, man. You kind of want to stay on the same platform at some times, because like, you know, you're used to the controls, you're used to like the graphics and you know, all that stuff. So jumping in and out of like different consoles also, you got to like adjust your mind frame. You know, if I want to go back to some retro stuff, then I got to be like, I gotta revert my mind back to some retro days to actually enjoy them. I'm just funny like that, man. Shoot, call me picky or whatever, but those are the struggles that I go through in gaming. Anyways, this is your boy Guy Cognac signing out. Just wanna update y'all on some, some topics that people don't really talk about. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, man.